In this video, we're going to be talking about something called wild card filtering. Let's go. Okay, here I am in Tableau, and I'm going to bring up the question uh, and where it came from. So, uh, G. Niklesh Bagarv, and I think I recognize that name. I think I've seen that number of time, uh, that name number of times. So, thank you for the question, Niklesh uh, Bagarv. If you're listening, thank you again for the support. Uh, functionality of include all values when empty option in wildcard tab so uh, if you've never heard of this you're probably going oh uh, hi Jed could you please explain what the option of include all values when empty in wildcard tab of filters what's the difference when you check check or uncheck it okay so um, this is one of those situations where you probably will never come across it unless you were looking for it intentionally and that's the only way I came across it because I was trying to build something and I'll show you what I was building and why it's useful from a performance point of view. Did he say performance? Yes, he said performance. All right, let's do it. So I've got a data set here. And if you want to follow along, it is a the Superstore data set. And it'll be in the description below. And what I want to do is I want to do a simple filter. All right, very simple filter. And for this one, I'm going to use product name. So I'm going to grab product name and drop it in here. And for me, just because I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm a little bit me. I don't like it when it's just ABC. So even though I'm not going to use that, I like putting values in there just for the sake of it. Oh, okay, that's all better. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to filter this. And it's a really long list. I think it's like short of 2,000 rows. Okay, and I'm going to filter for, let's say, ACCO, A-C-C-O. And there's a number of ways I can do this. So I can grab product name and drop it into the filters like so. And just setting on this first one. I can tick, untick everything. So if you've ever done filtering, I mean, it's pretty simple. So I can click none and go echo, right? So the top part shows me all the things with echo and I can just go all and apply. And you can see behind everything has echo. Great. As a designer, I can do that. But let's say I'm building this visualization for someone else and I don't know what they're going to be searching, right? I want to, to, I want to give them the option to search. Okay, so what do we do? I'm going to clear this filter. We're going to start again. I'm going to go product name. I'm just going to say use all. Okay, so use all is the equivalent of everything ticked. Okay, it's just a simpler one because you can just press it. Go OK. And I'm going to right click and go show filter. Okay, so we're getting closer now to just giving someone the functionality. So if I publish this onto Tableau Online, this will be available. And if they want to search for echo, they can just untick everything, search echo okay and you can see all the echoes here and you can just highlight a bunch of them and press space okay and it'll start showing great it's not the most user friendly so what we can do is instead of having to go through this kind of two-step and three-step process clear that just click all and we're going to switch this to a wild card so if i just click the triangle wild card and what that does is it eliminates any of the selection and we can just type it in so if i go echo it would just show me everything with echo. I think before I was testing Chrom, I think. Okay, there's a good one. So you see all Chrom. Okay, so that's all that filter does. So um, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, Nick Nicklesh, Nicklesh's question is, if you go into filters, okay, and I go wildcard, this wildcard functionality is the same. Oops, well, I just moved everything. Is the same as this it's it they do the same thing okay and the question specifically is what does this little tick box do okay so let me show you what it does let me just move this back because i <laughs> accidentally moved it okay there we go okay edit filter so what it does is if i leave that ticked and clear this okay so i haven't given it any instructions on what to search and press apply it will display everything in this field okay if i untick this okay and apply it will show me nothing so it will only show me the results after i've done a filter so so basically don't include anything unless i've filtered that's basically what it means so if i go crumb i go apply so in terms of the filtering the wildcard exactly the same the only thing that's different is once you clear what you've searched it just clears it so why is this important okay well i'll show you number one is let's turn this back on what if you have not just two thousand rows let's say you have 10 million rows maybe not that much but a lot 
let's say I have a lot of rows. What tends to happen is if you have a slower computer or a small kind of laptop, which in the corporate world, typically you do, um, you haven't got a lot of processing power. So if you try and show, you know, a thousand, uh, like 10,000, 100,000 rows of data, it will lag, it will not perform very well. So one way to get around it is to just simply not display it at all. So if I go in here and go edit filter, wildcard, just turn this off. So that when it's ready to be used, it will only run or use your processing power for the search, it will not use it for displaying. Okay. So that's one thing. The other thing you can use this for is sort of like a Google search. And I've built kind of like search engines in here before. And let me show you how you would do it. Let's say you do have your product name like this. In this layout, not that great. So what we're going to do is let's call this prod search. And we're going to build a simple dashboard. I'm going to go here to the dashboard button. I'm going to bring this whole thing in. I'm just going to resize it just so it fits. Okay. So we have prod search and prod name. Okay, pretty simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank to the very top. <laughs> it just sounded like I swore, I'm going to add a blank <laughs> to the top. Okay, so I've got like a little square there, I've got the, the sheet that we designed, and I've got the filter, I'm going to move the filter up here. And I'm gonna, I can do that in two ways, I can just click here and go um, float, which is not showing because my face is there. So let me just move this over here. So you can see. Okay, so I go here, we're just going to click on floating. Okay, so now it's floating and I can put it anywhere. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to get rid of this title. So now all we have at the top is just a bar. Is this looking like something you recognize? Google. Okay, and I'm going to add a text at the top. And you can see it's tiling. So I'm just going to hold shift and make it a floating. Okay, and let's call this goggle product search. Okay, I just make this like 26. Blue, I know they had like different colors for the letters, go like this. Okay, so you have a search, get rid of this title. And that's basically all it is. So when someone comes in, they go, Oh, you know, I want to search for a particular product, do we have it in stock? And the stock and this and the product could be I don't know, we'll use that Chrome again. Oh, cool, we do have stock or we do have values. So where is this useful in real life? Where is this useful in the corporate sense? What if you work in logistics? Well, where is this particular vehicle where I've got a uh, an ID for a product? Where is it stored? I've got a vehicle that I'm looking for. I've got um, some finance reports that I'm checking, I want to know how much this region has made, etc, etc. Anything like this can make it super simple for your user to find the information they want without pressing all sorts of filters, if they know what they're looking for. So if I say, uh, you know, give me a book. Okay, these are all the books I need. And if they want to be more specific, it's like, Oh, well, you know, book Westfield. Oh, wait, I think I did that wrong. Book West. I just saw it before book. Book, book, Westfield, oh, Bush, Bush, Westfield, Bush, Bush, Westfield, you know, and they can search, you know, and that's pretty much it. So it's a super useful way and very simple to design way of giving information to your users. And you can do this on multiple levels. So for example, if you wanted to have another visualization, let's say I wanted to do, I'm this, I'm this just off the fly. This wasn't actually part of what I was going to film. Let's say, oh, let me just grab sales here, something like that. You can probably bring this in here. Okay. Apply this filter to the other one, sheet two. Okay. So then when you search, it will do the same thing. So if I go Bush, right, and it'll show me also another result related to this selection. Okay. So super useful. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.